What? <laughs> like, it's, I mean, this thing, like, like oh, yeah. it's just scary. Yeah, they do kind of rattle oh, wait, a little this bit. this is not a light. <laughs> <laughs> this is the light. <laughs> Guys, we're back with another E30 video, and in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to adjust the windows so that the doors close properly. In, in, in the car right now, the doors are getting stuck uh, when trying to close them, so hopefully we'll manage to get that done, um, and we won't have too many troubles along the way. Um, so if you like this video, let us know, leave your comments, and like and subscribe. Thanks. All right, let's go. By the way, this is our our super big garage. <laughs> this is a manual rooftop, by the way, so what which I, is what you want E30 because the other one breaks easily. Exactly. So there are several several things that we need to. Uh, uh, we have a problem. What? What? That's the problem. What is the problem? It doesn't open. Yeah. When we were changing the antenna, we screwed something up. If you want to see more about what led to this problem, click here. How to remove the back, the back seat trim? First of all, you need to take this. Yank it. There we go. See now, you just and boom. Okay. Okay. Next thing is we need to. Is it true, maybe? Just with fingers. Okay. Comes out pretty easily. It's just little three clips there. Um, this one's broken, but you get the idea. So you pull out the top first and then slide it up like that. Uh, you don't need to take out the speaker. Oh. Oh, great. <laughs> the wrong tool. But luckily for us, this car has a nice tool case. Oh, Jake, can you hold the seat? This is the good things about this car in the 80s. They had a complete 
tool set. Like if you were stuck on the road, you could actually fix it. Nowadays, you don't have this. They barely give you a screwdriver. There you go. Thank you. The best tool for the job. Yeah, it's pretty hard to get a Phillips screw out of with a square. <laughs> There was something about that in elementary school class about shapes and things. Yeah. Kind of, kind of pay attention to that. Yeah, I was never good at that class. <laughs> so to remove this thing first, you need to open the latch. So as you see, the, the piece goes all the way to the back. Yeah, so it's kind of covered by that. Oh, and there's a, a trim, a plastic trim also that Yes. on the way. I'm pretty sure we're gonna slide this out. Remove the, the, the door uh, seal. Okay. Of course, right? And this is obviously glued. It's not glued. It's <laughs> oh, it's not glued? Okay, so it just firmly pressed. Yeah, it feels glued because it's been sitting, sitting there for, there for a while. <laughs> now, the problem is the seatbelt. We won't be able to take out this thing fully until if we want to take out, we can we could unscrew the seatbelt down here, but I'm trying to avoid that for now and see if maybe we won't need to do that. Remember the plastic thing in the back? What plastic thing in the back? Oh yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Just, that's why I'm trying to slide it. Okay, so pull it up and slide it out. Let's pull it up, slide it out, and just be careful. And done. And that's it. Okay, so how to remove the trim on the door. This, this video is becoming very informational. We came out for one thing, now we're doing three. Handlebar? Handle. Handle. <laughs> Handle. <laughs> it's not a bike. a bike. <laughs> the question is, what can we... Let me see. Let yeah. me see. You. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a it's a, it's a Philip. Philip, what are you, Philip? Can you find it? So we don't have any power tools. We're pretty manual, keeping it with the with the times. You know, we still have 1980s manual tools. <laughs> exactly. Who needs who needs power tools, right? Exactly. Whoa, that's, and voila. that's a big screw if you ever saw one. <laughs> I don't like taking these covers, up, these panels off. They're real pain. Yeah. Because... Because there's a bunch of clips and, you know, clips like to break. Yeah, very brittle clips. Final, final screw. Now this one's tricky because it likes to fall inside the of course. hole in here. Why would they make something easy to do? Uh -huh. okay. All right, now that, oh, we got a screw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got a runner. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. We got a runner. <clears throat> All right, so, so as you saw, I slid it this yeah, way. The so slide, you slide light. it that way towards the front of the car. Um, in this case, it's kind of the middle of the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if the door is closed, front of the car. If the door is open, to the middle of the car. Uh, no. These are great uh, guidelines, man. This, you got these oh, little little hook there. You got another one. Uh, well, that one's just more like just support. And then these ones right here that kind of hook in, in there. So you got to just slide it out like that. So And this one slides out too because it's got a little, cool. little hook right there. So that's... Pretty straightforward, but just one I guess you, And then you just pry the door oh, from yet. the bottom. You have to take this oh, thing yeah. off first. Now this one's tricky. I usually just pry on it. it doesn't. I'm just always afraid that if I pry on it, I'll break it. Because like I said, there's the way it, this mechanism works is that it slides in. So I'm gonna try and do that, but but I don't can't seem to get it to go. Oh yeah, that's that's solid so, in there. So let's just. Oh, there we go. You just give it a bit of a pry. Oh, and then it does end up going. 
I see you had one already broken, so that's why you don't want to do that. But see, it's like a little hook like that that just slides in. So if you want to put it back in, you shove it in like that and slide it in. Um, so don't try to pull it out. From what I noticed, what works is if I just pry this a little bit, then it'll just dislodge itself from this thing here. And, and then you, you can, can see the guides here. Yeah, and then you can slide it out that way. So try that so you don't break your clips like I did for that one. So yeah, Exactly, because probably that piece is like 40 bucks. <laughs> yeah, probably can't find it anywhere. Yeah. Um, okay. Right, so now, the fun task, the scary task. Of it's peeling it off. <laughs> of dislodging. <laughs> it's getting the pig. The clips. I just have to feel for them. Oh, I feel scared. <laughs> All right, 27 more to go. Here is the loose. Yeah. And one more up here somewhere. Most well, likely you have it here in the corner. No. And then once you get all those things, you see it's kind of flopping. Supposed to lift it up, probably lift it up. I believe. No, don't quote me on that because it may be wrong. It, it definitely slides up. I've done this before. I just there we go. So, just as light it up to come out of the clips. Yeah, here, here, here. This was new, this is 30 years after you had a little bit of problem of sun. Yeah. You can see I think it's going a little too far off. Yeah, see? it's it's going a little bit too high up. So I probably want it to sit somewhere yeah, there. Yeah, somewhere there. Okay. Here's the stopper right there. So you actually don't need to take this whole cover yeah. off because there's a hole there, or at least for me there was a hole there. Um, but that's, but <clears throat> that's the stopper. See. What the hell? It slides up and down like that. Yeah. And I don't know which way is to stop it going from further. I think it's the other way, so I think I'm doing it wrong. But let's just oh, let's try see it. See what's happening. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so don't want so to break that. So don't go. Don't go down. Go up. So I'm gonna put it all the way up just to see what's happening. So, so you probably don't want that because... <laughs> perfect, now you have constant uh, water coming out. <laughs> we're, 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 we're playing the, the, the guessing game here, so... Okay. That's a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. Like a tiny bit more. Down? Yeah. Actually, no. It's, it's actually perfect there. Yeah? Yeah. So okay. Let's leave that there. Keep this let's open. try. Let's just close it first. See see how big the gap is. No, this is not going to give you good. You need the window, uh, the roof up because what the roof is going to do is pull on this. Pull oh up. yeah. Okay. But uh, let's just try that. Let's just see what happens. Okay. Okay. So it's uh, better. Is overlap? Is not overlapping anymore? No. But yeah. So okay. let's put the roof and see what happens. All right. The assistant is putting the roof. There you are. You're the <laughs> assistant. Oh, yeah. Look, I cannot film an assist. Let go. So we're gonna raise the window all the way up. See what happens. All right. Okay. Let's see this. So, if you see the gap is definitely closing up as it goes up. Let's see what's the gap on this side. Should have done it from the other side. Yeah, exactly. That's why I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Put your, put your body through the window and then pull the windows up. <laughs> if we compare from the other side, you can see here the gap. It's pretty much uniform all the way up till it reaches the corner. Yep, come out. Actually, you know what? Stay in there. <laughs> okay, so we decided to take that out. We're well, not going to disconnect the seatbelt, but we just extended it and give us a little bit more room. Let's 
see if I can raise this up a little bit. Somebody put a mark here. Was that hands? Kind of to, to tell, to say where to adjust this to. Is that better or did I change anything? Let me see. Oh shit, nope. <laughs> nope, that, that's way worse, that isn't even close. Yeah, oh, yeah. There? there we go. Open it and close it. Yep. Yeah. Wait, let's try it again. Yep. adjustment there and I think what it does is the height adjustment but yeah, I probably might be wrong where is it exactly let me see where it is where is it uh, okay so right there it looks exactly the same as the height adjustment on that okay okay I mean that thing is so annoying that's the sound of the 80s <laughs> No wonder they did so much cooking. Yeah, so I adjusted that thing. It's probably, I'm guessing. What the hell did it do? What what happened? My adjustment. I adjusted the thing. What did it do? Let me check from the outside. No, now it's like, now it it's all messed up. Can you open the window? The door? Close it? No, no, like the door is fine. But now this thing is not even closing all the way up like now there's a gap between the pillar and the roof pretty big oh, right here I'm trying to figure out what that does so I guess you, you found out what it does what I don't understand is how it works I don't know it's some black magic of some sort <laughs> whatever you did undo it <laughs> I might have to pray to the gods of the BMWs to see <laughs> if I can undo what I just did Answer, Dita help me so um, here's what we did to adjust these windows or this window. Um, bring up your window up to the place where you want it to be and then you could slide these um, adjustments to the right spot to stop the window from going this way any further. So this one kind of stops and this one stops the window from pivoting like that. Ever fix this? Mark the, the stops here and here. I don't know what the hell was he smoking, but... Uh... <laughs> They're yeah. way off. There's also another adjustment right here. Looks like the one in the front window. I actually end up having it all the way to the right. Yeah, you're, you're talking too much math, man. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, just just uh, trial and error, guys. That's it. <laughs> That's all it takes. Um, actually, this is some still some sort of black magic to me. I, I really don't know how it works, but just play around with it and I'm sure you'll get it perfectly. Now what we're going to do is just test the windows with the roof open. Um, just so we can see how it's kind of wait, line, wait, lining wait, up. Wait, the, the light is there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Don't shove things in places where, <laughs> you know, you might break something. <laughs> All right, uh, let's close the yeah, let's close the doors. Dude, I feel um, like, a, like a near controller truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the party. <laughs> Get ready to dance, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Hans and the Gretel over here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's gonna close this. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> that gap you want when the windows uh, open. See, that's 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 not. Okay, that that's a mistake. This should be parallel to this. Now the question is, why did it move? It was perfect. That window is going way too far up. Oh, I think I know why. Maybe I forgot to tighten the bolt <laughs> down there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's let's just make sure that's tightened because that I think this one's fine. What's happening is this one's going way too high up. Yeah. The okay. Front window. Put, put it up. I'll tell you when to stop. Put what up? This this one. So. Oh. 
Go, go, go. That's go. another way you can adjust it since go. you got yeah, yeah, a little bit more, tiny bit. Up? Yeah. Oh man, this is this is like up, down. More. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Okay, stop. Is it? Yeah. Okay, let's perfect. Okay, now. Is that side lining up properly? Yes. Okay. See if you can give me the, give me the wrench. Get your face out of the way. Oh yeah, man, it's super loose. Yeah, I think I just forgot. So make sure you slide it all the way. Um, yeah. Can I put it all the way up? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, now we know. But yeah, okay, let's try it again. Crap. What? <laughs> like it's slamming this thing. Like, oh, yeah. Just scary. Yeah, they do kind of rattle oh, wait, a little bit. Wait, there's not a light. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we need all that light because you're just you're just blinding the camera right now. <laughs> okay, go. We need right, to get see. better lighting. Oh, <laughs> uh, so you have to see. That's the thing. So you you maybe you need it. Let's lower it a bit, but we're gonna okay. have to just adjust it as we okay, go. Go a little bit higher. Yeah. Perfect. Maybe uh, if I open the windows a cinch, and then you could just slide it just a tiny little bit. Okay, more. do it. Right, I'll just open it a cinch. Okay, and just and just tighten it. Okay, let's try. Do it. I think that's good. Yeah, no, it's beefy. They're not totally lined up. I no, would love to get them lined up, but they're a little bit more. We can we can still do it. Let's do it it's lower more. just a little bit. Yeah. Um, we're gonna have to test it again with the roof up. Okay. Put it a tiny bit down. I think no matter what you do, it's always going to have that extra yeah, bit of thing. That's why you need to lower it a little bit more and just give it a cinch a little bit more than what you want. But let's try this. Let's try, let's try to see what happens. Yeah. So you'll always go up a little bit more than what you've uh, yeah. set it to. So you need to let it. So, so basically, you need to set it there. And set it right there. Yeah. I think. Well, we'll see. No, I actually agree with you. Yeah. So you did move it like a tiny little fraction of a, like a yeah. little millimeter or something, right? Yeah. <clears throat> right. Success. Okay, I think that's flash good. Is it's perfect, it's flush, man. Okay, so let's... Um, Perfect. Okay, let's, uh, should we test it with the roof up? Yeah. I feel actually, like we yes. should test it. Okay. So how did that one stop? Huh? How did that one stop? Perfect. Yeah? Same place. Seals good? Yeah. Oh. Oh, que pasa? I don't know. Something happened here with the... Was it? No. Oh, it's getting stuck. I think um, the roof is pushing this forward. Yeah, but it was with the roof up the last time, so. Mm -hmm. Did you tie those things? It's okay, the gap is fine. As long as it's not too. Uh, like there's still a gap there, right? As long as they're touching. But what yeah, happened there? You yeah. said. I was thinking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we. It's too high. Too high. Yeah. We have to lower it even okay. more. Let's. Um, right. And I think the reason why, because before that one was going higher. Yeah. And it was pushing the whole roof upwards. Right. Which meant that. Um, 
it basically allowed this window to slide in. Right. Yeah, try that. No, no. No. Oh, no. Oh. There. Slide it all the way up for that. One more. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Ceiling. Yeah. Perfect. Say something. What? If you sound muffled, that means it's working well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I think we got it. Yeah. I think it, we got it as good as it's gonna go. Can you try it? And, can you push up? Yeah. No. That's it. Stuck there. Perfect. Okay. Let's give it one more open and close test. Yeah. Good idea. Uh, I meant like with the windows. Yeah. Do it. Close the door. Oh. Yep, I'm good. good. Now I want to end up well. Yep. Okay. Open. Perfect. Dude, it's perfect. Okay. All right. We got it. Yeah. We got it, guys. Nice. We finally got it. Now we can seal yes. this thing up. Finally, four days after. Yeah. Uh, yeah. By the way, this whole thing is just a big giant sticker. This stuff is actually kind of fun to play with. <laughs> what kind of toys did you have when you were a kid, man? Oh, giant stickers, they didn't have those. <laughs> All right, so the installation of the door panel is the inverse. Of what we just did, you want to slide the top in first. Make sure that the, the seal is not um, Getting crushed by the by the by the by the door trim. Yes, this, uh, does take a little bit of finesse. Yeah, exactly. It's best to start on this side because you got the um, door latch. All right. So that's in. Yeah. So you've got a little bit of a. Take some where's plastic. The, where's, the, where's the trim? Move your finger so you can show them. Trim tool. Yeah, so. Got a little bit of a waffle oh. over here. Okay. A bit of a <laughs> <laughs> so now you can snap in all the clips. Okay. Um, so. He's trying to guide the pins in the right spot. Yeah. But you just you, you want to make sure they're in the hole so you don't push them in and bend. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. That's how you put back the trim. I mean, it really it really hurts your soul that <laughs> noise. But it does feel good too, doesn't it? It does. Like the clippy feel feeling? It does. Okay, so now for this part. Slide it in. First the bottom. Oh, Shove yeah. the bottom in. Yeah. Bottom first. Bottom first. Yeah. Like. Slide it up. Yeah, you, see, you probably already noticed we're using um, <laughs> iPhones to record iPhones. this. <laughs> so. Only the top of the line technology here. Yeah, we got the best technology. That's why we're a little bit hard to get everything sort of filmed properly. Uh, so here's a pro tip. If you're screwing things in, don't tighten screws until you get all of them in. Speed up your hand, it'll look like it's going at like some sort of insane speed. It is. I am that powerful. Okay. And put that little trim back on. Sometimes I, I lose focus of watching the camera. There you go. Done. We're done. All right. Door in the front. Done. Door is back together. See how easy that was? Now, we're gonna do the back. All right, so 
Now we're putting this thing back in. And oh, we need to plug the stereo first. Don't forget to. Oh, right. Blue brown. brown, ground, blue black, sound. Ground sound? <laughs> ground sound. <laughs> but they're different. <laughs> what is it? They're different sizes. So the. Yeah, you cannot um, plug the wrong pin into the. Yeah. yeah. There's a little guy and a big guy, right? Yeah, the totally. Yeah, when they were designing this thing, they were like, maybe there are a couple of idiots in 30 years they're going to be trying to do this. Man, I can't get the focus when it's so dark. There we go. No, you don't. You just put it down. You don't need it. Yeah, okay. this, you have to slide it from. Yeah, like that. The, this 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 speaker loves to magnetize itself to the to everything. As speaker as magnets usually do. Yeah. Well, I know. It's just this one's unfortunately you know, annoying. Mm -hmm. Zoom out. So yeah, just shove that lip in first behind the seat. Way itself. And there we go, and just kind of just pops right in. The more you know. Actually, to be quite honest with you, the trims on these cars are so easy to take apart. Yeah. Well, all except the dashboard. <laughs> Dude, this removing these panels on the on the F30, F32. E90 for that matter. It's a it's a painful experience. This is this is a walk in the park. Got go we got a first screw. So this whole this whole trim has literally two screws. That's it. Remember, safety third. Oops. What second? What? What second? I don't know. Something that is important than safety. <laughs> More important. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All I know yes. is that safety is third, okay? Yes, you told me you didn't do well in math, so <laughs> <laughs> now I believe it. Yeah. Okay. Let's put the trim back in. Cool. Alright. Uh, don't cover. forget the little rubber cover here. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe. That's it. Um yeah, we just gotta get that oh, cover back on. Cover? It's in the trunk. And I need to get it. Okay, so slide it in. Sometimes it helps to just grab a uh, piece of trim tool and just push those tabs down. Or a screwdriver. <laughs> yeah. All right. There we yeah. go. That's it. Bada boom, bada bing. Now the other side. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we hope you like the video. Thanks.